PC building has been one of the biggest hobbies around for both professionals and enthusiasts alike. Back then, it was a daunting task that leaves you no choice but to leave it to the professionals. Thankfully, with the help of the knowledge trove that is the internet, with a bit of research, you can build one yourself. And that's what this video is about. What is up, good people? This is Jay, and today we will be building a powerful rig, showing you part by part, step by step, and yes, RGB included. With, of course, the help of our partners, XPG Palette and Biostar. So, time for us to get cracking. Alright, before we get started, let's see the parts that we will be using for this build. Starting with the motherboard, we will be using the Biostar Z590 GTA. Next, of course, is our processor, the amazing Intel Core i7-11700K. For our RAM, we will use the XPG Spectrix D50. Next is our SSD, another XPG product, the GameX S50 Lite. Next, to power everything up, we need something big. So here we have the XPG Core Reactor 850 Gold. That's heavy. <laughs> Of course, some RGB goodness. We need, we need a little up, all right? So, of course, we got the XPG Prime ARGB extension cable, MB Plus VGA. Now, cooling our CPU is the oh-so-cool XPG Levante 240. And the icing on top of this amazing cake will be... The Palette Game Rock RTX 3080 Ti 12 GB OC. Of course, we need something big to house everything, all right? So for our case, we went with the XPG Defender Pro. There you go. Told you it's big. <laughs> all right. For our peripherals, we will go full XPG, starting with our headset, the XPG Precog gaming headset. Next is our mouse, the XPG Primer gaming mouse. All right, for our keyboard, we'll go with our XPG Summoner. And of course, we want to be comfortable when we were playing and, you know, a smooth surface. And the answer to that is the XPG Battleground XL Prime. All right. So now that we have everything, I think it's time for us to get started with the build. All right. So let's get started. Now, while we're at it, why don't we see what's inside the box? Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is one gorgeous board. Huh? That is gorgeous. Some SATA cables, uh, the driver CD, utilities and stuff, and of course, the user manual. Of course, for our processor, we will be using the Intel Core i7. 11700K unlocked, which means we will be overclocking this bad boy using this motherboard. Okie dokie. Now, let's put uh, the processor in as usual. Be careful with the marks, all right? There is an arrow-like uh, mark here. You have to have it aligned to the arrow marked on the motherboard. Use that, all right? So look at this, the arrow mark, and that arrow mark, that is where it belongs, all right? Then boom, this will just pop off on its own. There you go. We need to take this top part off. 
Now this is where we will put our SSD. Of course you need to remove this screw. Now put it there. Okay, we have four slots here for the DDR4 RAM. Make sure that it's unlocked. Pop them right in. Boom, boom. Easy as that. Now let's get this uh, heat sink in. Okay, now that we're back and we're ready, we need to get the case. Okay, so you might think, why did I put any IO shield? I didn't pop up any, pop out any IO shield. It's because it's already built in. It's screwed down. See, the IO shield, it's already screwed down. That's why we don't have to pop anything on the case anymore. But okay, enough about that. Let's get cracking. Now that it's screwed down, the next thing that we need will be the power supply. Now since the power supply is modular, wait, use only the cables that you will be needing. For the power supply, make sure that the fan is not getting blocked here. There is a screen down here, so use that. All right. Moving on to the XPG Prime ARGB extension cables. Since we're done with everything, we will be installing the icing on top of this cake. Check it out. Look at that bling. There you go. Dang. So now what we'll do is, of course, we want to secure the GPU. So how do we do that? Well, if you get yourself a Palette GameRock RTX 3080 Ti 12 gigabyte, you'll get an anti-sag bracket with it. Installing the bracket is fairly easy, but you may also check out the bracket installation guide on Palette's website. Okay, so now that we're a little bit less chaotic, it's time for us to get to those cable because honestly, they're kind of messing me up a little bit. Wait, Jay, aren't you forgetting something? What? It's supposed to keep you cool. Supposed to keep me cool? Oh, all right, yeah, that's right. The final part of our monster rig, all right? The XPG Levante 240 AIO liquid cooler, all right? Thank you so much, Mira, for reminding me. Okay, so let's get the fans as well. And where is my trusty screwdriver? Wait, here we go. Oh, come on, Jay. What now? I have something for you. Look under the table. I'm liking this. What could it possibly be? Oh, wow. <laughs> this will make our lives easier. Okay, thank you so much for this, Mira. Let's get started. Okay, now we are going to be aligning the screw holes. We'll put two screws first to hold everything in place. Okay, this is actually a two-man job right call your friend it won't hurt to get another set of hands you know this could be dangerous all right unless of course you're a part of the xpg force you know what i'm saying wink wink <laughs> all right enough about that <laughs> let's get, let's get working okay so i guess now it's time for us to head on to the cable management. All right, I'll show you a before and after shot of everything. Okay, so talking about 
cable management. See, this is chaos. Nobody likes this, all right? <laughs> it's bugging me, seriously. But there are a million ways on how to do this. Okay, so two of the most popular things that they do is first, you get something like this, okay? You can use your long screwdriver if you want to. You can actually coil the cables like uh, so, all right? So if that is your thing, you can do that. And it actually looks nice, all right? If you want that uh, Jimi Hendrix vibe on your PC, then uh, this is the way to go. You can't go wrong with this one. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna do it all the way because this isn't one of the methods that I am really fond of. But just to give you an idea, this is how it will look like. Okay, so now, the thing that I like to do most is to use these. We have multiple slots here all over the case. With that, you can actually use cable ties. Let's try and see if we will do the hookups or the coils. Now to get a better picture of how our system performs, we put it on a few benchmark tests. Starting with Cinebench and with stock clocking, we got a score of 14,333 points for the multi-core test and 1,570 points for the single core test. Pairing the processor to the Palette GeForce RTX 3080 Ti 12GB OC, we got a score of 17,711 on TimeSpy. Now for the CPU profile test that will run for a few times, we got a max thread of 8142. For the DLSS benchmark test, we are averaging at 60.64 FPS with the DLSS turned off and 132.45 FPS with the DLSS turned on. Our last benchmark test is the sampler feedback test and we got a difference of 7.5%, 591.95 FPS with the sampler feedback turned off and 63.08 FPS with it turned on. Now for the actual gameplay experience, I tried setting everything on high and ultra with Cyberpunk and it didn't even break a sweat, giving us an average frames of about 87 to 90 frames per second. Now with Valorant, I set the max FPS to always be at 240 to see if it will be a different experience and good people. It was butter. I mean, see for yourself. I had a lot of fun building this PC, though I must admit there was a certain challenge in terms of cable management, but I'd like to believe that I was able to make it work. I mean, look at the before and after. Moving on to the motherboard. As usual, the ability to set things up was a smooth ride thanks to its easy to navigate BIOS that also has an easy mode that helps you work your way around the BIOS easily. See what I did there? <laughs> Now, on the overclocking side, you still have the option to do it automatically that will be very helpful if you're not super knowledgeable but you still want to do some overclocking. But you have to keep in mind that you may also set things manually if you really want to dive in deep. Now for the CPU cooler, the XPG Levante 240 surprised me a lot. I mean, given the specs of this rig, I am expecting the temps to be a bit on the high side. But thanks to this AIO liquid cooling system, the temps that I got was amazing for both stock and overclocked setting. I also love how every RGB aspect of this PC connects with each other. After all, Hashtag RGB is life.
right? <laughs> on a serious note, if you want this to be a piece of art that is sitting on your desk, it could be. Because the XPG Prime ARGB cables are capable of producing bright enough light to give you that perfect mood, whatever setting you want to set it to. Now, the GPU. Seriously, this one made me drool. Aside from it being an RTX 3080 Ti, Pallet did an awesome job designing it because it looks amazing and it really blends in perfectly in a powerful rig and to give you a few deets the pallet geforce rtx series graphics cards deliver ultimate performance for creators and gamers they are powered by nvidia's ampere architecture with new rt cores tensor cores and streaming multiprocessors for amazing ray tracing and ai features such as nvidia dlss and nvidia reflex for those of you who aren't aware, NVIDIA DLSS is a groundbreaking AI rendering technology that increases graphics performance using dedicated Tensor Core AI processors. DLSS taps into the power of a deep learning neural network to boost frame rates and generate beautiful sharp images for your games. So playing with it turned on can really boost your FPS as long as your hardware is supported. Now, NVIDIA Reflex reduces system latency in competitive games. So, Valorant, you better listen, alright? <laughs> this is critical for competitive gamers because it allows the PC and display to respond faster to a user's mouse and keyboard input, enabling players to hit enemies faster and take shots with greater precision. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Now is the time for the question. How much? As of the moment in the Philippines, these are the individual prices. giving us a total of 136,283 pesos or $2,733 for the CPU. But you don't have to worry, I'm going to be commenting down a link in the comments section where you can see a more updated price. As I've said earlier, before, building a PC is not something everybody is comfortable doing. But luckily, the technology not just improved, but it also made things easier for people who want to do it themselves. Of course, I'd like to thank our awesome partners, XPG, Palette, and Biostar for partnering up with me on this build. And thank you for sticking with me through the whole video. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments or you want to send in your thoughts, never hesitate to hit me up on my socials anytime. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, and don't forget to rock on and rock hard.